Hello there kids, it is high, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fable Anniversary. Alright, and we left off, my throat was still dying, and was, as was the rest of me, and it seems the game had glitched out after all. Um, I'd meant to show it while I was in there, but that was my bad. I also used up all the experience I got in the, uh, da -da -da -da, in the arena, there we go. And it got physique to level 6, health to 7, toughness to 6, which took a level each. And got speed and accuracy up to 7 and 6, respectively, which was another one level each. Everything else was untouched, so uh, yeah, there's that. Now that I got that part out of the way, it seems there was a bit of a glitch which caused that to happen uh, last episode, where it was trying to do the mission where I investigate the mayor first and then going over to her to talk about it. <laughs> to talk about, you know, what she wanted out of me. Uh, so, that was actually a glitch and that's why it decided to screw up like that. Alright, so, that out of the way and talked about. Now we just head back to Bowerstone North. And... Turns out the gift that I was needing to get her, I had completely forgotten. She only likes black roses. Which is a tad macabre, to be perfectly honest. So. So the big conspiracy, can't you see? Yep, he is. Out of his mind. No, I'm trying, believe me. I have to talk to this lady over here. I suppose she's got you getting a gift, has she? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Uh-huh. Well, you you anyway, got it right. If you want to impress her, you ought to buy her a black rose. Really? She truly loves those flowers. <laughs> She's the only one who does. They're creepy, I think. Yeah, you're not wrong. Well, uh, thank you for that information. I have no idea who you are, but uh, I guess I'll do that. Where do I buy? Where do I buy? Where do I buy a black rose? That's what I was trying to say, but my brain is broken apparently. Supreme Master. Great Supreme Master, is that what we're calling me now? Okay. I guess that's a thing we can do. Alright, um, gonna talk to you and find where the Black Rose is. There it is. She likes this. Despite their startling qualities, most people find black flowers distasteful. Only someone with a heart as dark as its petals would truly appreciate it. Well, that definitely makes me think I should probably be not marrying this woman. <laughs> Maybe. Kinda. Sorta. Like, not at all. I'll sell those again. Uh, sell these again. I should have probably sold them in one go. It's my bad. Uh, yeah, and that's it. That's all I need. There we go. You Thank you, buddy. I, I got done with the arena already. Thank you, though. So, I guess I need to go back to that woman to find out what the hell... Uh, or at least find out what the hell this woman's trying to get. There we go. Let's give her a gift. Oh, that's beautiful. I knew you'd have a romantic soul. No, I Not don't. Not like some heroes. You mean thunder, don't you? Of course, a you? woman in my position <laughs> can't marry into poverty. Well, that's probably The very true. least one can expect is that a man will have his own house. That is true. Huh. And let's go over here so we can translate. Or at least hear a translation of a commoner. Because uh, I have a feeling this might actually be entertaining. Okay, that's fine. Really. I don't know why everyone has to talk to me. Every time I pass by. Demanding, isn't she? Yeah. That's what comes with wealth. The more they have, the more they want. Makes sense. Alrighty. If you don't already have a house, you should get saving. Well, I already Please. have a couple of houses. Lady Grey won't look at you twice if you don't have your own home. Hmm. Actually, that goes for all the ladies of Albion, I'd imagine. You can't wed without a marital home. So, I guess I would have to have one regardless. Alright, well, I mean, I have one... In Bowerstone South, I have one in Oakvale. I could always go back to Oakvale. That's not the button I wanted you to do. 
I wanted you to do the guild seal so I could go to Oak Vale. Let's head to Oak Vale and get that one. Over. Because... I'm pretty sure that one's the cheaper out of the two. And it's the more quaint, I think. It's it's my old family home, so I think... I think... I think... <laughs> God damn it, my brain. Are you going to not freeze this time? Please, for the love of God, don't freeze. Thank you. Alright, Jesus, Howard Christ. <laughs> I was going to flip a bitch. If it froze again. Okay. At this point, I'm just scared as all balls that it's going to happen again. And if it does, I'm going to scream, probably. But it seems thus far it's going to be okay. Now, let's uh, grab that rent money, which I'm pretty sure I grabbed before. And let's make it our own home. No. Yes, I want to live in this marital home. Because I used to be in this home way back when I was a wee lad. A wee babby. Uh, let's put stuff on this. Mount a trophy. Well, no shit. Uh, help you earn more rent. I guess I could do that on one of the old ones. Or the one I'm renting out in uh, Barrowstone South. Could do that. Why do I keep hitting the wrong button? Um... Maybe go through items and trophies and my Valverine head. Really? You're not going to do it that way? Really? Okay. Uh, white Valverine head use. There we go. Project Ego. <laughs> That's a good joke. Uh, yeah, that... That... Looks like the old texture, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, oh well. Or maybe it was retextured and it just looks the same. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that's my home, so I'm going to head back. Because I got the house part dealt with. And recall. There we go. Alright. Oh, boy. I'm... A little sleepy, I apologize. <laughs> and I was also really concerned that I needed to, you know, end the playthrough. Ah, there we go. Now I'm back. Perfect. And I head back to her. Wow, everyone's in love with me now. That did not take long at all. Jesus. Well, hi there. Hi. I'm so pleased to hear you have a house. Well, I mean, I yeah. wouldn't want to think you wanted to marry for the money. Well, would you do something heroic for me now? A while ago, I lost a necklace. It is most precious to Don't me. Don't you have a choker on right Perhaps now? Perhaps you could investigate round town. Someone must know its whereabouts. Well, probably. We'll find out in a second. Maybe. All right. You may wonder why I'm going through all of these errands with her because I kind of want to keep this open enough to get an exploit done with the uh, game and I'll be able to show you what exploit in a moment so I should probably talk really to her. You really are devoted to the lady aren't you? No not really. Well if she's looking for information you should talk to some of the men around the town. All right. Really we have such gossips in Bowerstone North you think they'd have better things to do. Nope nope Nope, nope, nope. I know that for a fact. I live in a small town. They do not have anything better to do. I also know because I am one. <laughs> okay. Listen to me. You're all doomed. Oh, shush. Haven't you, you spoken to Rodri yet? I told you, he's in Barrowfields. Eventually, yeah. I'll, I'll talk to him. First, I want to find that necklace oh, thing. Crazy. The truth wants to be free. Oh, would you shut up. Jesus, you're fucking nuts. Alright, maybe if I talk. Hello? Hello? Do you happen to know? Okay, let's talk You've to him. You've been talking to that crazy Gethin, haven't you? Well, yeah. And, and I suppose he's been yapping on about one of his twisted conspiracy theories. I assume. The man is sick in the head. A danger to society. 
<laughs> Won't be for very long, though. The mayor is seeing to that. Yeah, I also notice that you also have an obsidian longsword. I wonder why the guards have obsidian weapons like that. Um, who should I be talking to then? Uh, maybe this guy. Maybe this guy knows. There's talk going round that the lady's looking to marry. You don't say. Wouldn't like to be in the poor fool's shoes, I can tell you. Would you? There's something not right about her. Did you know her sister disappeared? No! I didn't at all! I was just talking to the crazy person in the jail out of my own volition because I thought maybe he'd be a good conversationalist. Without a trace, she was last seen at the Grey House. No one knows what happened. No. <laughs> well, I mean, we'll find out eventually. That's for sure. And there's another person I need to talk to over here. Hey, so you've heard about one. her sister too, huh? Yeah. Seems that no one is quite sure of our mayor's history. Well, I mean, who can be? Did you know she wears her sister's necklace all the time? Oh. That's the proof, maybe? Wonderful. Oh, gladiator, That's eh? the proof of the fact that she's dead? Maybe? I don't know. Well, I can't talk to this guy. Uh, can't talk to them either. Um, maybe I have to talk to this person. Uh, okay, maybe in here. Okay, it must be up there. There we go. Talk to you. Come on, talk to me. So the necklace belonged to the lady's late sister. Apparently, yeah. She don't wear it no more. I heard it was stolen. Stolen? Yeah. Well, Wonderful. I mean, she lost it. How much we know. I don't know who stole it. Maybe it was this guy. Don't be sheep. Haven't you spoken to Rodri yet? I okay. Told you he's yeah, in Barrowfields. Yeah. Maybe it was stolen by Rodri. You really are devoted to the yeah. well, if really. Well, okay. Well, I guess. No other info is going to be gleaned from any of them. So, I'm going to assume it was actually... Follow. Come on. What are you doing? Follow. You... There's no one in front of you! You idiot! Jesus, Howard Christ. Alright. <sighs> and all the textures are fucked up. That's fine. They'll eventually load in. Or not. Yep, they're not going to load in. That's fine. Fuck it. We're going to go to Barrowfields, get that shit done and over with. And if it freezes again, I'm going to pee all over my Xbox. <laughs> Lack of a better idea. There we go. Thank God. Are we going to be broken again? Nope, we're not. Awesome. Uh think Rodri might be down here. Maybe. And if not, I could always go to the other green dot. No, this was Rodri. This has to be Rodri. I don't know why I'd bother getting up in the mornings. Well, I don't know either. Maybe you can tell me. Amanda. Amanda. Yes. Of course, I knew her. Yeah. I think about her all the time. She was so beautiful. So pure. Uh. She was afraid her sister would find out about us. And use it against her. Stop her from becoming mayor. I'm no noble after all. Fair enough. So we'd meet in secret in the grey house cellar. I would sneak out to the stables and flash my lamp three times to let her know I was there. Oh. One night, she didn't come out. And I found the cellar door locked. Her sister, Elvira, Lady Grey as she's now known, told me she had died of some terrible illness. Then the house was abandoned, and I never even got to... I'm sorry. It's too painful to talk about. Fair enough. Well, that proves that there is some shady shit going on. Because, this is my own interjection here, one would think if there was a terrible illness, she would have told him about it. So that was obviously made up. And there was a specific pattern to con uh, 
<laughs> I was trying to figure out the word, communication between the two to make sure that they were hidden. It's, but it seems like that's easy enough to fake and possibly get her in a position where Elvira, I assume that's her name, I think that's what she said, or he said, fuck. <laughs> Either way, uh, Elvira would have Amanda in a position where she can then use her or kill her. And that's possibly what happened. All right, let's see what's going on here. Oh no, not again. What do you mean, not again? Another bony adventure. Oh, I'm shut not up. interested. I want to stop Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh, it. no. Oh, I'm god damn it. I didn't want to engage this again. God damn it. Fucking fuck. All right. Well, at least now we know we need to go to the gray house and do whatever it is we needed to do. Maybe... Maybe the necklace was stolen by Amanda. The uh, restless spirit version of Amanda, anyway. My toes are starting to fuck up on me. <laughs> Everything's fucking up on me, let's be honest here. My toes just felt numb for a second, which is why I was a little concerned. Uh, oh, there's my sister. So, you finally met Jack of Blades. Kinda, yeah. I met him long ago, of course when he burned down our home and cut out my eyes. Aww. But he wasn't lying when he said he knew where Mother was. He's kept her in Bargate Prison ever since the night of the raid. I haven't been able to get inside, but the archaeologist knows of an ancient secret passage. You've met him already, haven't you? Jack's creatures are still after him, just like they're after me. Fair enough. I can't stay here much longer. I've left the details in a quest card at the guild. Okay. You have to get Mother out. She's the only one who knows how to reach the sword. You did read the book I sent, didn't you? Not the sword yet. is everything, and it could turn the world to nothing. Oh, and Mother has a gift for you too. More power than you can imagine. Really? Check the guild for more quests. I'll eventually get there for sure, but first I need to figure out what I need to do to get all of this taken care of. Um, I'm pretty sure I could go in there and do the stable thing where I light the thing three times. Not entirely sure how. Ah. Uh, Fuck. I'm not entirely sure. Huh. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what I need to do here. Honestly. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm a little confused. But there's the demon door over here. So I might as well look into that. Maybe. Up. Oh, oh. There we go. Fish up the uh, silver key out of here. I think that's what was here. I think. Come on. Come on. Uh, my controller is making the button stick. Oh, come on. Come on. Fucking god damn it. The controller's button was sticking. You could hear that. <laughs> Don't try to say, oh, you're just being salty. You could hear the button sticking. Okay. God damn it. Let's try it again. Let's try it one more time. I need to be patient with it, and I don't want to be. Come on. Okay, come on. 
shit. And, come on. I'm almost done. There we go. God damn it. That was annoying. And we got the silver key. Nice. All right. Now that that's taken care of, what do we have to do with the demon door? Single men not allowed. You need a ball and chain. A posh one with a title. A posh one with a title. I'm assuming he means Lady Grey. And I'd need that... I need to marry her to be able to get through that demon door. So if I don't marry her in this entire little quest line, then that demon door is never going to be open. That's fine with me. It's probably not filled with something good, or at least too good. So anyway, I'm going to end the episode here for right now because it's a little over time and I need to figure out how to get the rest of this little thing done. Because, as you saw a little bit ago, I'm not entirely sure how to proceed, so that way I can get all of the benefits of both quests without, you know, having to marry this crazy, murderous lady. <laughs> so anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community, we can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode, this has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to solve a murder while also courting the one who might be the murderer for you. <laughs>